Are you single and feeling out of the loop? Put away that mouse and get out of the house. Join In The Loop, Seattle's brand new activities club just for singles. Go to InTheLoopSingles.com today. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. I'm sure you guys have been around people who use like the same word over and over again and it gets really annoying. Like people say literally nonstop. Mm, or like. Or basically. I got a lot yeah. of friends that say basically nonstop. I know it's, for me it's really annoying when I'm out and people use the same thing to describe me. That I was like, oh, you're so witty. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> learn a different descriptive word, okay? There's plenty out there. There's also hilarious. Just go to a thesaurus. Just go to thesaurus.com and look up some new words because I'm getting really tired of hearing that over and over. <laughs> Well, the girl on the phone for a second date update today feels like she might have said something over and over and over again and kind of annoyed the guy that she was out with, and that's why she's not getting a call back. Her name is Maggie. Maggie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you for agreeing to do the second date update today. Now, before we get into why you think the guy's not calling you back, tell us a little bit about him. Okay. Well, his name is Jay. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like out with my girlfriend. We were just at a bar, and then we met this group of guys, and... um, he, you know, we kind of like struck up a conversation and we kind of separated off like a little bit and we like hung out at the bar and then I don't know, like we had really good conversation and everyone else was going home. So we were like, let's go to another bar. So we kind of changed locations and we were there until like, what? it was like two in the morning. Like we were like the last oh. one there. That so this was your good. date, right? This was it. I mean, this was it. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't on purpose. Like it's not like I, you know, we didn't like set up like a a blind date or something but it ended up being a date because we met and then we kind of went off by ourselves yeah you guys had your own little private time how was the conversation and everything with him it was really good i mean if it wasn't good i I wouldn't have you know i wouldn't have changed locations with him that's true and you probably wouldn't be trying to contact him again either Hmm. no (laughs) how i figured that out (laughs) were your girlfriends like super excited for you because whenever one of my girlfriends meets a hot dude in a bar i'm like yeah get it girl um (laughs) I mean, he's actually not really my type, I guess, like my normal type. So I think they were actually kind of surprised because he's just a little edgier, like a little rougher around the edges than I usually go for. But. You're into more like <laughs> preppy type guys? Yeah, I guess preppy. But now that I'm hearing all these things coming out of my mouth, it just sounds ridiculous. So. <laughs> well, what, <laughs> what is, a little what? edgier than I normally date. Right? Oh, okay, so what do you mean by that? Like he has tattoos or... Oh my God, I don't know. Like he does... Uh, She's flustered. Yeah. <laughs> totally flustered. I know, I'm getting flustered because I don't know how to explain myself without sounding wrong. Because now I'm all self-conscious about the things that I say. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I said something Take wrong. Take a deep well, breath. Well, yeah, Take calm, a deep calm breath. down a little bit. You know, we got time to discuss this. You don't have to do it all at once. Like, think about it. What What is so different about him from the guys that you normally date? What makes him edgy? Okay, you know how some people seem like just super white collar, like very mm-hmm. suburban? Mm-hmm. That's he's not like that. That's the guy I normally date. Like very like you could guess where they went to college. Like you can okay. guess like what their parents look like. And he went to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he went to the school of hard knocks, but I'm just saying he's not like the typical like white collar preppy boy that I've dated in the past. So what happened during drinks? I mean, we had a conversation and so now, you know, like when someone doesn't call you back or when things fall through, you start to like totally overanalyze like everything you said you said in your email that you were using a word too much what does that mean um i there were a couple times when we were walking i had like walked by a car and then i walked past another bar and i referred to both of those things as ghetto i mean i you mean (laughs) like you were looking at stuff going like ew that's ghetto no okay i didn't say it like that (laughs) (laughs) It was my car. I can call it ghetto. It's mine. <laughs> I like saw my car and I was kind of like embarrassed about it because it is kind of ghetto. It's kind of old and junky. And so I was like, oh, that's my car. It's so ghetto. <laughs> and then well, I was like walking past another bar and we were choosing where to go. And I said, that was really nice. I was like, that was kind of ghetto. And he and then he said, oh, you say that word a lot. And I was like, um, oh. do I? And then, I don't know, a lot, like two times, so many times. Maybe you said it yeah. sometimes that you don't even realize it. Yeah. You're right. I Maybe I've been, maybe I say it every other sentence. <laughs> I'm very aware of it now, though. <laughs> You're one of those, like, preppy white girls that calls everything ghetto, aren't you? Oh, my God, that's so no, ghetto. No, I don't call everything ghetto. Yeah. I'm not even preppy. Yes, I'm Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, oh, my purse is only a Gucci. It's so ghetto. Oh, my God. Oh, so no. Okay, uh, so that's I not you. terrible. I hate myself the way I'm listening to the things I'm saying right now. <laughs> yeah, I would find it hard to believe that that's why he's not calling you back, though. You know? And if he's getting offended because you're saying that, then do you really want to go out with this dude again? Right. Like, that's really judgmental. Yeah. So, like, jump on that. Yeah. Right. How did the end of the night go? 
well, we didn't like make solid plans, but we texted a little bit after, like in a couple days after that, and then it kind of just like stopped, and then okay. we like stopped answering, and I was just kind of left to be like. Uh, maybe a cell phone plan's kind of ghetto, <laughs> and you can't send texts yeah, or something. I think he's the worst. <laughs> I definitely feel like the ball is in his court. You know, like when you reached out enough times, you're like, okay. Yeah. How many yeah. times would you say that's been? I I think I reached out two more times without a response. Like I'm not about to like stalk him via text message. Okay, and oh, the I'll only stalk him over the radio. Yeah. <laughs> and... yeah. All right, well, well we'll play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update. Okay. Okay. okay hang on. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. If I were to describe today's second date update, I would probably use the word ghetto. Oh, come on. With a side of ghetto added to it. I say that because Maggie is on the phone and she wants to call a guy named Jay today. Jay isn't calling her back and the only reason that Maggie can think of is that during the date she described things as ghetto a few times and he goes, wow, you sure use that word a lot. So she thinks that maybe that offended him. Maggie, that could be it. Or have you thought about this? He could have thought you were ugly. <laughs> that was just out of left field. It's possible. It's, ha- it's happened in the past. It's happened to me. I know I've gone out with people and they've just thought I was ugly. So it might not be the ghetto thing. It could be that. I... <laughs> I'm not even going to warrant that with a response. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He spent hours with her you know? the night that he met her. He obviously was attracted to her. Well, who knows? You know, it could have been a pity thing. <laughs> oh, my God. You are the worst and continuously the worst. <laughs> I'm just trying to just weigh all the options that it could be, and that's the only other guess I have. I am a decent-looking human. It's not because of the way I look. Okay. Yes. All right, Maggie. Well, I'm going to dial the phone number right now, get him on the phone, and find out what the reason is that he's not getting back to you, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous. Oh, my gosh. You really like him, don't Maybe you? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's another reason why he's not calling you back. You were too nervous. <laughs> There's all kinds of options here Just with you, Maggie. There's so yeah, many. And all of your options make me feel terrible. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to dial it right now. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Jay, please? Speaking? Jay, how are you, man? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? What up? You mean the guy on the radio? Yeah, that guy. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard the second date update before? Mm, nah. Okay, perfect. Well, <laughs> you recently went out on a date with one of our listeners, and they emailed us to get a hold of you to find out why you're not calling them back. Okay. <laughs> Her name is Maggie. Maggie. Yeah, do you remember meeting Maggie out at a bar a little while ago? Maggie. Oh, Maggie. The, oh the energetic girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what? We, talk, we talked to her a little bit, and that would be a good way to describe her. Very energetic. <laughs> so you remember meeting Maggie, right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I remember meeting Maggie. All right, well, Maggie emailed us because apparently you guys were texting back and forth, and then you sort of just dropped off the face of the earth, so she's wondering why you stopped texting her. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a good fit. It's not a good fit? What? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay, <laughs> what's not a good fit about it? You know, it just wasn't it wasn't a good vibe. That's it? You guys, you, so you guys just didn't click? Yeah, I mean, she just said some dumb s*** <laughs> that pissed me off. Whoa. We <laughs> talked to her a little bit about your date, right? And she was saying that at one point... You pointed out to her that she said the word ghetto a lot. Like, she used it to describe things like, ew, this is yeah, ghetto. Like, all the time. <laughs> okay. Like, that pigeon is ghetto. Like, it's a pigeon. <laughs> and then, like, at least three or five times, she kept calling me a badass. <laughs> she a, called you a, a badass? badass? <laughs> yeah, like, it got kind of weird after a while. At first, you know, everybody wants to be a badass but then by like the third time you're like i i get it how did she do that that's confusing to me like you guys are just talking she's like oh my god you're such a badass (laughs) yeah basically that's weird you didn't do anything to like promote her saying that about your behavior or something no i mean not that i was aware of you know i wasn't like Flipping over tables and nothing (laughs) so she said it like a compliment though right I mean, the way that she put it, it seemed like she was, like, getting off from it. 
Oh, really? <laughs> like, oh, you're a bad boy. Yeah, like it was a, a huge turn on or something. And then uh, there, was, like, there was this part towards the end of the night, and she was like, you know who would absolutely hate you? Whoa. Who would hate you? Yeah, she actually said that. Well, who would hate you? Yeah, that's you sound like a nice guy to me, man. I'm having a pleasure. I'm having a great time talking to you. I don't know who would hate you. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, she said, you know who would absolutely hate you? She said her father. Oh, 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 wow. So she, she said, if I bring you home to my parents, my dad's going to hate you. Yeah, but she had like this big smile the whole time. Oh, my because God. She- <laughs> Did it feel like she wants to piss her dad off or something? I mean, I don't know, but the whole time I'm just thinking, like, I don't want to be involved in any drama or any family issues. But the whole time she was like, yeah, my dad would totally hate me being you. I just want to piss my family off so bad. So bad. So did it feel like she was talking to you, not because she actually liked you, just because she thought you were a badass who, for some reason, could make her parents angry? I mean, I think she liked the idea of me pissing off her parents. Well, you know what, Jay? You know what's funny is she's actually on the other line listening right now. Wait, what? She's actually on the other line listening. Maggie, say hi to Jay. Uh, no way. Holy sh- Jay. Oh my God. The stuff that I said about my parents, all that stuff, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it like I was bringing you home like as a, on purpose. I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring you home to, to make someone mad or I I wasn't going to actually do it. I was just thinking in my head that they would freak out and be like, this is different than your other boyfriends, but I wouldn't, I'm not actually actively going to do it. I'm not using you to bring home to make people mad. Did you just say that you wouldn't actually do that? And then say, but they would actually do that? I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. I'll say it again. You're a badass. My parents wouldn't like me bringing home a badass. Uh, It's true. I don't know know what you want me to say. It's just kind of weird how you obsess over me being a badass and how I would piss off your parents. And then that's, that's a good thing. Okay, well, I didn't mean it the way that it's obviously coming off to you. I really and truly didn't. I didn't. No, that's not what wasn't my you intention. You said, this is exactly what you said. You said, my dad would absolutely hate you. <laughs> how, how else is that to be interpreted? I didn't mean that he was going to hate you, like, in a bad way, like, actually hate you. I meant he would, like, hate you, like, in a fun way. Like, like in a fun way? What? Uh, yeah. Look, look. You just, you just don't get it. It would just be funny to see my dad's face, cause like he would be, I would, ju- I would like stress him. Like it would just be funny. Like we don't even have to like go out. Like you, like just to see his face would be funny. Wait, you just want to use him as like your prop? Wow. No. I am not following this girl, and for the life of me, she doesn't take a breath when she speaks. Oh well, that's gosh. a perfect timing, then, Jay. I would love to ask if you'll go out on a second date with Maggie. <laughs> right. We will pay it. for it. You'll pay for it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Do you want to go out with her again? I'm going to still have to go with no. No? Yeah, I think that's a smart choice. Even if it's just like to meet her dad one time just to see if you can piss him off? I don't want to meet her dad, her mom, her uncle, (laughs) her granddad. I'm not trying to meet any part of the family. He should just be going on a date with her dad, if anything. (laughs) I mean, okay, that's fine. I mean, obviously you you don't understand my humor and you don't understand... What I was saying. So it's fi- I mean, it's fine. It wasn't going to work, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, don't worry. I'm sure there's a ton of other guys out there that can piss your dad off. <laughs> well, if you have any friends, let me know. <laughs> I, I definitely do. I'll hook you up, okay? <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.